This episode of Capes of Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. Fight me, nerd. Hello and welcome to the Angel Chronicles. That's right, nerds. I am Phil, and that bare knuckle nerd fighter is... Hey y'all, it's Lil Playfire. May not recognize her, but yeah, it's her. Are you trying to go blonde because we're talking about uh, Buffy's appearance on Angel tonight? It caught me. The Slayer. But yeah, so, talking season 1, episode 19, Sanctuary. As we said back in last time, the final appearance of Sarah Michelle Geller on the show. And we never saw her again. <laughs> oh, this episode, I don't know. It's it's one of the best episodes of the first season, but not the series, which is weird. Because they're like, it's Bucky, are you crazy? And I'm like, eh. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it I think that this, this was like a big this is what I mean. We keep saying all oh, this is where the show took off, but I think this is where the show started to find its own direction because after this episode, I mean, we don't really get any Buffy characters, do we, until Spike in season five? Well, no, Willow comes by for a moment. Is uh, that she, season five or season four? Uh, oh, that's right. Um, I think it's season four. May, because they it's the, before they move into. I was gonna say, were they in the hotel? Because yeah, they were still in the hotel, so it yeah, must have been season four. Yeah, because you don't see any hotel. They mention it, but you don't. I don't think you see any hotel in season five. Mm-mm-mm. So yep, uh, this episode, like the first time that I watched this episode, obviously I watched it live, and I was just like, he's defending Faith. He punched Buffy for Faith because you gotta <laughs> like, have Faith, the Faith, the Faith. <laughs> Ugh. Like, I just was like, this This is too much for me. But now, I mean, like I said, I, the character of Faith has grown on me. And like I said, if you aren't reading those Faith and Angel comics, read them! Ah! But I mean, I don't know. It is kind of weird that he defended... He a lot of himself in her. Is basically... That's the whole thing that we were building up to from the last episode to this episode. So Sounds sort of naughty now that I'm saying it. I mean, well, they did kind of, you know, shagging wagon back in the Sunnydale, so. Yeah. You steal all my boyfriends. I mean, if you look at Buffy, the guy that she ends up with kind of started with the thing for Buffy. Yeah, she has a she has a Slayer complex. If it feels like Buffy, she wants Buffy's. She wants it. Mm-hmm. So that's a weird. Strange relationship that they have. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it is weird that, I mean, a little bit that Angel is defending her, but I kind of get it. And it's like, you know, like you told Buffy, it's not all about you. Finally, someone said it, though. Finally. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that, that's the odd thing about Buffy, especially in, like, the first, like, I'd say season and a half. It's like, she's a slayer, but she doesn't want to be here. Yeah, all her Scooby game totally is into it. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's not all about you, Buffy. Well, yeah, that's the thing, because she's like, oh, you're in trouble. He's like, no. He's like, no, that's not why you came. You came to rip her head off, and, you know. <laughs> Someone calls her on her BS, and I, I love it. My city, my rules, you know? Yep. Meanwhile, it's like, um, if you would have just took the shirt off, it could have been the all-black gang, but no, you messed it up, Buffy. <laughs> and that one shot where the three of them are in there, standing yeah. in that room, I was just like, damn it, Buffy, you just have to be the center of attention, don't you? <laughs> And I will correct myself. I think I said in an episode or two ago that this was the last appearance of Kate this season. I was wrong. Oh, yeah. We were she shows up in the was. finale. Yeah, she shows up in the finale. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just like we're just kind of dredging up all this, um, I guess, just this, this history between uh, Faith and Buffy. And it's just like, I don't care. This is Angel's show. Get out of yeah. here. <laughs> Again, too much girl drama for me. Get out of here. <laughs> Again, maybe they're you know they're trying to boost numbers or whatever. And I mean, this is a spinoff. I think just cute without Buffy would, uh, without Sarah Michelle Gellar. Like, no offense, would have done just fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason, like not for nothing. There's a reason why Elijah Dushku got more work after Buffy than Sarah Michelle Gellar did. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna throw it out there. 
she you know she even did that that one movie the new guy with um DJ Qualls, which is like one of my favorite movies of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, not for nothing. Elijah Biscuit was kind of like this weird, like rising star at the time. So, you know, Are I you think like- they should have made the Buffy appearance for the finale of of Angel. I mean, if we were never going to see her again, yeah. Unfortunately, you know, but it is what it is. This episode is really interesting. We have Wesley having his uh, thinking about going back to the Watch Council, but not really. I mean, we know Wesley's a weasel at times, but at this point, we're like, nah, he's not going to do that. No, he's Team Angel. Yeah. All day, every day. <laughs> and that, Besides, that- who wants to go back to rainy, foggy London? I mean, he lives in LA. And the mm. Cordy's there. Come on. <laughs> All that dark practice paid off. <laughs> I know. So jealous. I'm like, I, I can do I can do a crossbow. I can't do darts. And then the dude, then the dude's about to fall over, and he just comes up and punches him anyway. And he's like, "That's for calling me a ponce." <laughs> but yeah, we didn't get. I mean, there was so many p- characters in this episode. I mean, Lila, I know, uh, Lee, freaking, yeah, of course. And I'm just like, Lee, why are you still here? Goodbye. No one cares about you, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, we had so many characters. I mean, it was fine that you know Cordy writes herself out some uh, vacation time, and she's like, like I'm out. <laughs> she's like, I, I ain't staying with uh, you know homicidal yeah. slayer in the basement. I'm gone. The smartest thing she's ever done. <laughs> but of course, they did that probably because there's just too many people to keep track of. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, in the end, you know, Faith turns herself in. Yep. Yep, be after Kate tries to uh, arrest Angel for harboring a fugitive. But Kate, get, I, Kate is the original Laurel. You know that? That's like what that. I just came up with. Kate is the original Laurel. Is that stick in your butt police issue? <laughs> I no, she was born with that. I'm pretty oh. sure. I just, I don't forget. You know, you're one of those that killed my father. Now I'm actually the one who saved your life. Thank you very much. Oh, I know, just the worst. Just the worst. I don't know why they had to make this character that way, but it's just like, uh, she really is the original Laurel from season one, especially when she comes on, you just know she's gonna be like, oh, uh, just the worst. Mm-hmm. Like a protagonist. And like, it's like one thing if a guy is like, you know, a, a foil to our protagonist, but when it's a girl, like, oh, they just go all out and just really want to make her hate it. I don't well, know why it is. <laughs> well, especially, too, when you can tell that they were trying to, like, you know, make that, maybe make her a potential love interest early on. Yeah. When, yeah when, that when they, chemistry when, didn't work out. <laughs> when they become pure, pure foil, it's like, oh, you, you can it tell it's gone off the rails. Yeah. Yeah. And they're, eventually they realize, like, they kept, like, to their credit, they did kept trying to make it, like, work, but they're just like, okay, nobody likes this. Let's be done. <laughs> I love eight. I love when face uh, downstairs and Angel taking a shower. She's like, "You okay? You know, I I somehow made it through this four minutes since you last asked me." <laughs> oh, and they were watching the Lost like all okay, Like I was just like, they watch. They were watching the Lost weekend, and I'm just like, hmm, hmm, that's cute. Whatever. Like there, there was Superman on Angel's TV too, and I was like, too bad it wasn't Batman. They must not been able to get the rights for that. Yeah, it was like technically cool. Fox. I don't know. Wasn't okay. it like yeah? Wasn't it like that Fleischer Superman stuff? On yeah, the, yeah, for like two seconds. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this was, was a cute episode. I don't really know what those were about. Maybe they just wanted to shove them in there. But my favorite scene, I'm, it was the helicopter scene when Angel come crashing out of the skylight. No, my favorite scene is where uh, Faith like envisions herself charging towards Angel and cutting his face up. Oh, in the beginning, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Angel, like, what? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Classic faith. <laughs> like, I like being in her head every now and then because she's bat crap crazy. How does I love when she's like, "How does this work?" And he's like, "It's not going to be easy," and all this. And she's like, "No, the microwave. How do you? How does this work?" Yeah. This is, this is, oh my god, the dialogue in this episode was so good. I absolutely. I was just like, I like that we're fleshing out Wolfram and Hart a lot more. And it's like, I like Lila and I like Lindsay, but like I said, Lee, go away. Nobody likes you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, all, the, a lot of that Wolfram and stuff, Hart, uh, you know, gets fleshed out more, like, not next episode, but the, the last two of the season. Yeah. Especially Lindsay. 
Yeah, and it's it's weird, like that whole Angel Lindsay relationship. We'll get into it next season. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know. Like it's just, I just don't like Angel in the middle of all this girl drama. Though, like for as good as this episode is, that is the that is the taste. That is the aftertaste in my mouth. Just girl drama. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it was kind of. <clears throat> I think it I've kind of put a bow on the whole Buffy Angel thing. It's like, okay, we're not going to see... I guess the, I mean, the plan was probably we're not going to see them together at least for a while. And we never saw them together again. <laughs> I know. And it was it's just weird. Like, it's like, I was okay with that. It's like, okay, Angel's off to do his own thing. I, I could do without ever seeing her on here. You know, yeah, that, the mentions and stuff. Like, I, I feel like they should have done that. What, what was that? Like, like she should have been like Lilith and Fraser, basically mentioned often, never seen. <laughs> well, after this, she kind of was. Yeah, I mean, I I liked that because I was weighing more into Angel than Buffy, Buffy anyway. So it was like that was fine with me. But it was kind of weird that like their last interaction was like them punching each other. Yeah. It, I, like, I don't know, I guess, like, in my mind, they were secretly, spoilers, like, making room for Spike in our life or something. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just these weird choices, and when you go back, you're like, were they planning this, or did this just happen? Like, I don't know. Well, like I said, I think that it was, like, you know, this was, like, the second time she's shown up. So, there, I think they were like, okay, she's not going to show up for a while. You know, now we're going to, you know. And they, they had a real tough time with this episode, specifically because of Sarah Michelle Gellar's scheduling. Which I think is why a lot of this, like, shared universe in the CW, it all takes place in, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, with Vampire Diaries, they shot in Atlanta, and they also shot uh, the originals in Atlanta. And I think I guess they did all the exterior stuff for New Orleans, obviously. And hmm. then, of course, the Arrowverse is all in, you know, Vancouver. I think they learned the lesson. Yeah. Because I don't think these two places shot close together, if I remember hmm. right. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. But honestly, I just I just think that at that point, uh, especially where Buffy's show was, like she just wasn't feeling being the Slayer anymore. Honestly, and then it was only like what another year or so when you know the whole network shift of Buffy came about. Yeah, and honestly, if they would have just left it at that, I would have probably been a little more happier. I'm just saying. <laughs> what just just her dying. Yeah, because that's what Slayers do. She shouldn't mm-hmm. have been special. That's all that I'm saying at the end of the day. <laughs> Fight me, nurse. I don't care. <laughs> well, well, I think Buffy agreed with you. <laughs> exactly. And which I think was a... Me- like, okay, so the thing about um, Joss and the crew, they're all very meta. But, like, I just don't get the meta point of this episode. Like, it's great. Like, don't get me wrong. It's great. It's a build-up. To- totally. It's kind of like... Arrow seasons one and two where all the like final like four or five episodes all roll into this one great big finale, you know? Mm-hmm. But mm, like, I don't know. This is just something about this just leaves a bad taste in my mouth as much as I love this episode. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, there were some good, there was some bad. Like I said, I love the helicopter thing. Just him jumping up there and throwing the guy off. <laughs> Um, I like how the demon just shows up. She just kills with a knife very nonchalantly. <laughs> like, Wolverine Heart, you don't kill a demon to kill a slayer. You kill a, you hire another slayer to kill a slayer, or at least Spike. Go get Spike. The first assassin we hired killed the second assassin. We sent after the first assassin. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> and then I like how they're like they're talking about another favorite one. My Lila's talking about how Angel can't be killed even by a slayer, and goes. Rumor has it he used to actually date one. <laughs> it's like, how is that not common knowledge? Everybody in Sunnydale loves the gossip. Are you kidding me? I know. You think that'd be the gossip all through anywhere, like vampires and goes. demons congregated? Yeah, but like, <gasps> you you had sex with the Slayer. Ew, you've got cooties coming. And it's not just like any vampire. It's like <laughs> Angelus is yeah, like, exactly. like a legend. Well, that's why he goes by Angel now. Yes. <laughs> you know, he's got to take a little bit of that shine off that reputation. <laughs> Although, we'll get to it next episode. I believe next episode he dropped the name Angela, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Like, I, I just can't put my finger on it, but I feel like this um this had a little too much of Joss's intervention in it. Like, I mean, I, 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 I mean, again, we we get you know Cordy Cordy steps out at the beginning of the uh, 
beginning of the episode. So basically, it almost could have been a Buffy episode, just Angel and Wesley are there, you know? <laughs> and, 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 you know, this, except for it's set in LA instead of Sunnydale. Otherwise, you know, it could have been a Buffy episode. president for her. She is, you know, she ran off to LA that summer. Yeah. Um, no, it, it's a thing, though, I think that I noticed. It's when Tim, Maneer, and Joss Whedon get together to collaborate. I feel mm. like Tim gets drowned out. And mm. Joss, well, obviously, it's his creation or whatever. And he gets final say because he's the boss. But, I, I, you know, I just feel like Tim definitely had more of a, a better, like, aesthetic for Angel than Joss did. Like, I feel like, especially in this episode, Joss was still kind of clinging too much to that Sunnydale way of doing things, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. That's it. That's probably at the end of the day what it was. (laughs) Yes. Uh, But Faith finds peace in her jail cell, at the very least. I guess so. We we don't see her again. For a long time. (laughs) Yeah, well, not on this show. Yeah. No, on this show, we don't... Yeah, we don't see her for a long time again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he does visit her in prison, right? Mm, And she... Spoilers, breaks out. (laughs) But in her... In her... In in all fairness, it was an apocalypse. Mm-hmm. An isolated apocalypse <laughs> that no flare comes to check on, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll forget it. Anyway, um, I will give this episode a B plus. Yes, I agree. Uh, I don't know. Buffy just seemed to, you know, was getting on my nerves. Yeah, we got an X file. Like the oh, also it was so jam packed that we didn't have time for a lot of pop culture references. Like I said, I only know just the three: the Lost Weekend, Superman, and mm-hmm. then like X Files, where uh, she's like she corrects them. She's Mulder. <laughs> yeah. No, Mul- Mulder was the believer. Scully was the skeptic. Scully was the chick, right? <laughs> like, oh baby, no, you're not that far removed from pop culture, are you? <laughs> Um, a lot of great, uh, scenes in line. So I, like, I really actually like the, um, chemistry between Elijah Dusku and, um, David. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So Faith is like, are you, are you, are you saying I've got to apologize? Angel's like, you think you can? Mm-hmm. He's like, I don't know. How do you say, gee, really sorry that I tortured you nearly to death? He's like, well, first off, I think I'd leave off the G. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great, great, great dialogue between those two. I think all my all my favorite ones came from them this episode. Mm. Yeah, I mean, and, and Angel calling uh, Buffy out, of course, not her mm-hmm. little pedestal. <laughs> Buffy, this wasn't about you. So yeah, all in all, a good, solid episode. Um, yeah, season one, man, season one. <laughs> That's all I can say. No, we're all. We're almost, we're almost done. Three more episodes. Right in time to bring back Newcastle crew. That's right. <laughs> if you like dark, uh. Yeah, if you like dark, uh, heroes who wear trench coats. Sophisticated <laughs> suspense. <laughs> oh, there's nothing sophisticated about Legends. Let's not even. Also, I'm at New- is a season regular. Oh my god! I meant Newcastle oh, the, the crew. The is a unicorn farting. Like, let's, let's just be real. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the season trailer. It's not my fault. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, so shameless plugs. All right, everyone, send us your thoughts. What do you think of this episode or anything upcoming? Uh, Capes and Lunatics at gmail dot com. Find us on Facebook, Angel Chronicles at Angel TV Podcast, and at CL Sidekicks on Twitter. At CL Sidekicks on Instagram or in the voicemail 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. And Lilith? Um, if you nerds want to fight me, at Lilith Hellfire, DC TV is coming back with a vengeance, y'all. So buckle up. I have not heard to say. Um, for anything else, Small Village Superman related, Save Me Podcast over on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. David Boreanaz, Charisma Carpenter, Eliza Dushku, uh, who else is on the show? Christian uh, Kane. Christian Kane, yeah. We want to talk to you. Email me, nightwingpdp at gmail.com, and on Twitter, I am at nightwingpdp. What was the guy that plays Lauren's name? Like, I can't remember now. I'm having a brain thought. I'd uh, love to have him on, too. I can't remember either. Did he pass away? <gasps> Did he? I thought I saw something online that maybe, um... 
It wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me. Last three years have been crap with celebrity deaths. Let me see. Uh, I love Andy ha- Hallett. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two thousand nine. He must have passed away. I don't know how that slipped my mind. Yep. Yeah, I thought I saw something online when I was looking stuff up, but yeah. So it's been yeah. almost ten years. Yeah. We wouldn't like. I love. I love that character so much. That's a bummer. I know. Anywho. <laughs> Sorry to uh, leave you guys on that note. I was gonna say thanks, Lily. <laughs> you know me, doom and gloom and hellfire. That's me. So thank you for joining us. Send, please send us some feedback. Cheer us up. Let's cheer the cheer everyone up. Send us some feedback on the show. And remember, we help the helpless. We like that happily. But- <laughs> Like we said, finish up this season, we'll get some, then we'll get back to some John Conference and stuff on Newcastle crew, and eventually we'll get to season two. Next summer, this is a summer show. <laughs> summer cliff. But remember, join us next time, Annie, get your gun. <laughs>